I'm sitting at my first cosplay video, you know, to help you. We are going to do uh, Tokyo Mew Mew. My little sister will be putting. Say hi, pose. Hi. Okay. And I'll be doing lettuce. Okay. Now, first off, you need good reference pictures. Because without good reference pictures, then you're always going to suck. Okay. I got for my little sister, I've got these two pictures. This one. Might be, uh, bigger pictures are better, but sometimes you have to get the small pictures. Okay, this is a full body picture. You always need one of those. Okay, it shows you the whole outfit, um, where it ends, where it starts, and this one even has the weapon in it, which would become really in handy. And then, since you can't really see the front of the, uh, shirt right there, I printed off this other picture. To show the front so we can know how it looks like and uh and also it's a better close-up of some things and uh yeah and here i put a note saying that the back of the shirt um of right here like the back part looks the same as the front so i don't have to print off another picture and for mine i got this really good big full body picture this is a really good example. And then I got another picture of a weapon. So I can do that later. But weapons will be in another section. Okay. First off, you need to uh, uh, get measuring thing. Okay. Yeah. Where did I put it? Find a shirt that fits fairly nice the same way the other shirt or dress or whatever is, like this one. It's uh, not that tight, but we can always, it fits her. It has no baggage or anything. So what we'll just do is we'll just uh, have her take it up, back off, but not on camera. And uh, we'll just measure that, add a cup, like a few centimeters, and set out the pattern. Okay. Here I have set out the shirt on my paper. Uh, I have to remind myself that I shouldn't put it all the way at the bottom because um, it's like a full body dress thing. No, it's not a dress. It's like a suit. Yeah. And uh, so I just estimated to where the legs are, legs are going to be because it, start, it uh, ends exactly where the legs begin. So I have it laid out and I'm going to uh, sketch the parts that I need. Always sketch uh, the exact outline first. And you gotta make sure that uh, your shirt or anything is laid out exactly straight because uh, it would not be good to have it be a rumple and have it be the wrong measurements because then it might not fit or it might be too big or something could go horribly wrong and that would not be good. Okay. Now I'll just make a little mark right here. Okay. Now I gotta make little dotted lines. It's easier so you don't make a full line on the hem on the outside because much neater that way and you shouldn't just sew it willy nilly okay okay you can't see the lines now but you will see it when I outline it in sharpie but um, just to tell you I have a uh, this outline and then the dotted outline but here I put uh, how it looks like right there but as you can see in this picture it doesn't look like that so I'm going to see where this ends okay it ends about right here so I think the placement of here is good I will have to change this part just to teensy wee bit and to make it fit better and uh, this will be the finished product 
Okay, here it is. I've cut it out, and since uh, the front and the back happen to look exactly the same, I'm just gonna use this pattern again for the back. But I have you have to remember that if you do that, you always have to add just a little bit more. It depends how big your butt is. Uh, this one's not so much. So we're only going to add a little bit more inches right here when we uh, retrace it. Uh, and uh, for your buttocks, you uh, always have to make sure that you make uh, this part bigger for when it goes under. You know, so it'd be like this. You'd get it from like right here to here. And it's practically with this whole outline and then back up. To, uh, back up to that. It'll be like and back up. Um, that way it can actually fit. Okay. So that concludes the uh, pattern making. Uh, next we'll go on to the buying uh, fabrics and other supplies. Thank you. There's so